Everybody's here! Over the river! You know, chicken on a bridge is kind of, kind of fun to say, but it's not big enough. It's, it's kind of like doing a gainer off the high board. You gotta really go for it. We ended up with this spectacular design that we have now and something that's really transformational. The Rock Island Bridge sets it at the place of the greatest strength, smack dab in the middle, to connect both cities. The Rock Island Bridge creates bountiful outdoor recreational opportunities for families in Wyandotte County and visitors to bike, walk, boat, bird watch, fish, and much, much more. This is a unique development. We call it the Triple P. It involves public, private partnership with philanthropic funding. We'll also bring in local vendors and those that have been already invested in our communities to share in the prosperity that this bridge presents. This project is a catalyst for further economic development along both sides of the river, going north toward the confluence. I submit to you, we can reclaim our riverfront by being bold. Once you're on this bridge, you will have the vision to know all the things that can happen once we're open. I mean, every time I talk with him, there's a new idea of what we can do here and what will be done here. I grew up in Leavenworth County on a farm. We would bring truckloads of cattle here when it was an active stockyards. So I, uh, as a younger, much younger person, had the opportunity to see when this was a lively area. So it's really exciting for us to see this come together and to bring Kansas and Missouri together. This facility, it's going to bring people together that will share this excitement and become friends. I can see the Kansas City Symphony here, the Kansas City Ballet, the Lyric Opera. So many of our talented arts groups will be able to do things here. I expected uh, to be impressed. I did not expect to be blown away in the way that I am. Mike Zeller is this community's Nakshoni, he stepped his toe into the water and said no, this thing can happen and look what's about to happen later this summer. It is so important to build a space not just where people feel like they are welcome, but there is a difference between feeling welcomed and feeling like you belong in that place. This is a place that is thinking about what it feels like to belong in a place, and that's what's so exciting. This is part of 47 other projects across North America in the industrial reuse space. When you go to a Royals game, we're all cheering for the same team. When you go to a Chiefs game, we're all cheering for the same team. But those can't be the only places where people with different views gather and be together. These industrial reuse sites are becoming the new town squares of our country. These are the places where families, regardless of your ideological positions, can come together and grab a beer, hear some live music, dance, grab a bike, ride across, hop on a trail. That's why these places are important. So if you have anything left to give, even in these tough times, this is an investment worth making. The rest of the country is looking at what's happening now in Kansas City. It is important that this get off the ground and be successful. Because if it is, it will generate more projects like it, it will help fund other projects like it, and you are creating a new model for that work. Let's get it over the finish line. This has been a barn raising. This is all of our bridge. This is Kansas City's bridge. Yeah. 